So today in a second installment, sort of, I have another AliExpress watch to show you. This is for 1111 in celebration of 1111. There are sales that they are going on on AliExpress right now. This is a Reef Tiger I have to show you today. It's actually a pretty cool watch. It's called the Black Shark. Uh, and it comes in really nice packaging. So I had uh, another watch on the channel from AliExpress that was kind of a miss. This is more of a hit. Definitely a hit in my opinion. It's a an homage to a brand that I really like. Comes in nicer packaging as I mentioned. It's sort of an embossed leather package uh, box here, which is really nice. This is a metal Reef Tiger logo here with that R. Uh, you get a warranty information, warranty card, excuse me, and then operation uh, manual, and then you get a microfiber cloth. Uh, pretty much the same packaging, except for the box being nicer here. Um, and then when you open up the box, of course, you have a watch. It's a little funny that the watch is there because it's sort of um, the logo is facing this way and the watch is facing uh, sort of an opposite direction, <laughs> kind of kind of weird, but uh, that's not a big deal. We only care about the watch anyway, so here is the watch. You can see this is an homage to Lynn Verdelin. You guys know I'm a fan of Lynn Verdelin if you know this channel, um, and I think this is a pretty good looking watch. Now, what they've done here is they've done an homage to a specific sort of uh, model in the Lynn Verdelin lineup. I think it's the Octopus, so this is a little bit bigger of a case. However, it's not in a direct copy of any Lynn Verdelin. They've sort of taken a little bit from each one of their watches, and we'll go through what I'm talking about in just a second. But you can see here, it is a larger watch. It's larger than Lynn Verdelin's are, and I have a Lynn Verdelin on my wrist, so I'm going to show you that in just a second. But it's almost 48 millimeters, so this is a large watch. It does not wear like a 48 millimeter, and I'll show you that in just a second. You get a huge crown on here, again, bigger than what you would get with a Lynn Verdelin, almost an eight millimeter crown. It's also thicker than a uh, Lynn Verdelin, 13.6 millimeters. I think Lynn Verdelins are around 12 and change. They use thinner movements. They use ETA uh, 2890 series movements, so they are thinner, 60 millimeters lug to lug, including the strap, and then you get uh, about 49, 50 millimeters if you don't include the strap, but you're always going to have a big lug to lug on here uh, if you include the molded uh, links or molded ends of the uh, actual strap because you can't get any other straps for this watch because this is the, the only straps that you could actually use. Uh, the dial on here is really nice. The bezel is really nice. There is an outer track. It's in blue uh, and it sort of has uh, lines in it like a record. And then you have a center area that's also um, sunburst. Really nice. Very, very nice blue that they've chosen for this dial. You have applied indices. Those are filled with loom. Hands, very similar to Lynn Verdelin. Uh, screw down crown, which is signed Reef Tiger as well. Uh, it's a very big crown, very easy to use, nicely knurled, a little bit different from the knurling that you get on a Lynn Verdelin. You can see it hacks. You do get an NH35 in here, but they actually did something a little bit special with the NH35. So I will show you, get a date there between the um, four o'clock and five o'clock position, and then the bezel action. Very grippy. Feels good, doesn't sound so great. But it feels good, it's not loose, doesn't wobble, and you have a stainless steel insert in here. Um, sort of keeping with that theme, it looks like a Lynn Verdelin. Um, I don't think this insert specifically looks like a Lynn Verdelin insert, but it's kind of similar. It's sort of uh, a uh, milled insert, looks really good and feels good. Um, the case itself is a little bit different from Lynn Verdelin. You don't have the attachment points for dive computer or ski computer. You don't have screws here on the case and on the strap. It's actually a little bit cleaner of a look. I do like that. Uh, so you do get that on a Lynn Vertel and I'll show you in just a second because I do have mine on today or not mine or the one in is, that is in for loan from the brand. Um, it gets a really nice rubber strap. It's pretty robust. I don't know why they put a big tang buckle on here. They should have put a more modern buckle. This doesn't make any sense. It's bead blasted and brushed. Um, it's a nice, ni very nice buckle. It says Reef Tiger on it, but they should have put a more modern buckle on here because you're getting a very modern case. It just sort of looks like something that they had on the shelf and they decided to use. Um, you can see the movement. It is an NH35, as I mentioned, but you get a giant rotor on here. And what they've done is they've actually added a plate around the movement and the rotor actually sits on top of that plate. 
So they've added a larger rotor to the NH35 to make it look bigger than it actually is. So it looks very, very large. You get a screwing case back. Those are the screws holding in the strap, which I think is really a good idea uh, because it really does clean up the front of the watch a little bit more than an actual Lin Vertolin. Um, and then the, the rotor is obviously sort of a copy of IWC. It's sort of an IWC homage on the rotor. So it's weird that they went that route, but I think it actually does look good. It does look good. Take a look. I mean, it, it doesn't look bad. It looks very big. When you flip it over, you wouldn't immediately realize this is an NH35 until you actually look at the movement directly. Uh, the rotor looks good. You have a little sort of uh, bronze or gold-plated emblem there. That is the RT Reef Tiger. Uh, not too bad. Big crown, as I mentioned, with that R on there. It looks pretty good. It just says Reef Tiger automatic there and then Black Shark. It's a 100 meter water resistant watch, so it's not really a dive watch. It's more of a dive style watch. You're not going to really use this for diving. Uh, you do get a screwing crown, but I guess it's because they put a screwing case back with such a large window here to see the movement. Uh, you're only getting 100 meters of water resistance, which is fine. Uh, finishing on the case is actually very nice. There's no sharp edges. Uh, you have a little bit of a chamfered edge on the bottom, brushing, and then you have all these really nice angles. Uh, from the case, again, homage to Lynn Vertolin, but looks really good. Let me clean up the glass a little bit. I'm going to show you the watch that I have on my wrist today, and it is a Lynn Vertolin. This is the three-timer uh, in on loan from Lynn Vertolin. I love this watch. I really do think it's very, very comfortable, and if you are in the market for this watch, this is actually a really good option, a very affordable option to sort of make sure you like this watch now it is bigger it's thicker uh, however the look is very similar it's not exactly the same you can see those screws that i was talking about you have four screws here that's for the strap area and then of course you have those uh, attachment points which you don't get on the reef tiger which is either a good or a bad thing depending on how you look at it this is a larger case i believe this is more of a combination between the three timer and the octopus which is what lynn vertolin offer obviously you're not getting the dial and you're getting hands that are very similar but not as nice as the hands on this lynn vertolin but then again this is a seven thousand dollar watch this is a 295 dollar watch that is really good for what you are getting so very quickly, I'm going to throw it on my wrist. Then we're going to do a quick loom shot because I believe you do get pretty good loom on here. By the way, you also get a sapphire crystal on the uh, on the uh, Reef Tiger as well, which is pretty good for that price. $295 is not a lot of money. The strap is really comfortable. Like I said, I just don't love the buckle. I wish they put a modern buckle on here to match the case a little bit more, but that's the only complaint that I really have. Um, and there it is. So it doesn't wear like a 48 millimeter on my wrist at all and it actually wears thinner than because of the case design and the way it's actually uh you know shaped it wears thinner on your wrist so it's 13 and change but it does wear much thinner and it sits very close to the wrist it's a very comfortable watch i've actually worn this i've already posted pictures of it on my instagram because i was actually very impressed with it it's good looking it feels good and it's comfortable uh 295 i think this is a hit like i said uh, versus the other watch that I reviewed on, uh, I think is sort of a miss unless you're in the market for specifically that watch. Um, it's kind of a miss. This one is a hit, I think, though. I really like the handset as well. Very similar to Lynn Vertolin, but not exactly the same either. Um, very quickly, let me do a loom shot and then wrap up the video. Loom, pretty good here. And because you have large indices, the 12 o'clock, you can see there it's very, very large. There is a good amount of loom in there, so it does actually glow pretty brightly um, the hands actually pretty decent much better than the previous watch that i reviewed from aliexpress this is actually really very nicely done uh, i really do like it it's it's actually got probably better loom than a, an original lynn vertolin ironically um, i say original lynn vertolin this is a reef tiger it's an homage to lynn vertolin um, if I were in the market for a Lynn Vertolin, which I am always in the market for a Lynn Vertolin, I, I've just never pulled the trigger and I'm so happy to have one in for review. Um, definitely a watch that I would consider trying out if I wanted to get the idea of what a Lynn Vertolin felt like on my wrist. Uh, because it is very, very close, but it is not 
an exact copy of it. So it's actually pretty nice to uh, you know get something that looks like it but isn't an exact copy. A lot of exact copies out there. This is not one of them. I think it's a really good watch. And also, who makes a, an homage to Lynn Verdelin? It's just most people wouldn't even know. It's pretty interesting that they did that. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please tell me what you think of this watch. Uh, what do you think of Lynn Verdelin? What do you think of them doing an homage of it? Um, like I said, I've already posted this on my Instagram. I had some feedback there as well. Uh, please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.